Welcome everyone to the Coaster Spot. This is Alex and we're back at Six Flags Great Adventure for another update on the whole resort. First off, it seems like Safari Off-Road Adventure now if you're doing it from outside the park. I don't think this was a thing two weeks ago, but they are now charging $10 to park when you're already spending $32 for adults and $22 for children or seniors. I feel like that is so dirty to charge for parking at a, you know, an experience that essentially is only going to be an hour if you're not waiting for the line. But that's it. We're going to give it a try. And uh, first thing off, I guess we'll go uh, into the safari, show you a little bit of the uh, sections that you're going to be able to exclusively see from outside the park if you're boarding. And then, of course, we'll go into the Sunset Savannah Spa and Resort. Resort and Spa. Whatever the name is. You got it. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how much they've done in two weeks. And here's a closer look, finally, at that other station. It's simple. Probably could use some uh, concrete right there. Up to 2,200 pounds. And of course, the, about the, bison, their the their American Plains is, so is exclusive to the the time, only snow if you're boarding from melt. outside the theme park. You bypass this if you're boarding from Frontier Adventures. Oh, God. <laughs> it's the land animal in the world. <laughs> or he might be dancing. I'm not sure. And here we are back at the Savannah Sunset Resort and Spa. Not to be confused with the Sunset Savannah. That's the view that you get from Animal Kingdom's Wilderness Lodge at Disney World. Spelled differently without the H, but still, it's quite confusing. I think they did that on purpose. But anyways, you can see that they have added a bunch more cabins. Uh, started with the ones on the right there. You can see that the walls and the canvas is done. And then the uh, roof is done on the one in the middle. And then lots of poles and framing for a bunch of the other ones that only really had their platforms done before. So progressing nicely there. Also, I think a part they've added is that if you do have a season pass in lieu of, you know, free admission to parks, which you already have, you'll actually get unlimited access to all rides you don't need to use the flash pass you just get a wristband and you walk right up to entrance right on so that's gonna be fantastic at all two parks i guess you would say the water park and the amusement park so that's a nice park it really is it actually makes it a lot more worth it and you can see that the whole area has really been demolished other than that animal exhibit which i believe will be their quick serve and their spa area so uh, not much progress that you can see outside so lots to do but, you know, it's not opening for three more months, so they have plenty of time. What opens first, Flash or this? We'll see. And we'll have a little bit of a construction update on that in a moment. But uh, we'll be back in, in maybe a month because it does take quite a while to do the off-road adventure and something I don't need to do every two weeks. <laughs> Here you can also see our yak. Yeah. It's about lunchtime. In Safari Outfitters, they do have a new 50 year anniversary shirt. Kind of got Kina Ka there, some green arrow track, which is kind of confusing. Six Flags Great Adventure 50 years. It's got a tiger on there. Comes in three different colors, four different colors, two shades of green or brown and two shades of blue. We'll see if it's inside the park too. They also have you sizes as well. And pink giraffe. Pink giraffe. Over at the theme park, they did up the priority diamond and member membership. They have these little plants here and I like the uh, canopy, that's fun. There it is. Let's go inside and see what's new from the last two weeks. The merch is coming. We have more. We have the classic 1980s logo. This isn't the original logo. It's the second logo. The original logo was like the hot air balloon fantasy looking one. Yeah, more or less. It's, you know, this, if you don't know, this is a homage to the original logo. So you got those. You got those. And then they do have the uh, safari themed one as well out here too. So they got it all. They're gonna get like two more shirts today. Jeez, take my money. I know you guys are getting tired of this, but there's new stuff to update you on Dream Street. There's history, and they have a street sign for Dream Street. Look at that. 
It's facing the wrong way, though. I, I, I got to critique it. How can there be two dream streets, Jeff? Uh, it's the intersection of dream and dream. That's a lot of dreams. <laughs> All right. More bricks have gone in, and uh, including mine, apparently. So uh, let's... Oh, God. It's going to take a while. There it is. On the end. Wasn't expecting it to be on the end. There we go. Yes. Unfortunately, Ryan and I are not brick buddies. It's fine, Ryan's. But we're end buddies. Because... There you are. We got history. Construction from 72 to 73. Obviously into 74. Hey, these are some amazing photos. Did the safari open before the park or? I thought that opened first. Okay, yeah, I know Kings Dominion opened a whole year late earlier. The, uh, the safari did and they had Scooby ready a year early. It's amazing, I think that all this stuff that was part of this opening day, well, I mean, a big chunk of the stuff is all still here. Yeah, so the park opened, so we'll be here on July 1st, and then I think i got to come back July 4th for the anniversary of Mine Train, because Mine Train didn't open until four days. It was kind of a preview day, which I just found out about recently, that the first few days were preview, because they weren't quite ready yet. <laughs> surprise, surprise. So, let's look at the uh, original, uh, yeah, not much has changed as far as uh, where things are. Oh, yeah, yeah when it has a, was it, was it, when is it, was it, wasn't a giant pool? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the round up there. That's not the one that uh, originally was there. I think that was a portable model and they got a park model. A few years later. Look at the bear on top of the freaking car. Oh my god. That is crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These animals are dangerous. Yeah, yeah. The the lions were uncaged for like, I think a year, if that. Look at them running around. I know. Crazy. <laughs> and what the heck is this thing? What is that? That is a nightmare and a half. Sliced fruit. <laughs> There we go. I love all these, uh, all the, uh, oh, gondolas, that's too. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. Well, like, does that mean the Skyride right stand? It can't go away if you're advertising it like that. Come on now. That hurts if they don't open it. Just call Delta. I'll pay for it. I didn't realize they had a giant planner. Oh, is this that original? Is that the, the original? Yeah, the original entrance. No, no, that's, that's the old entrance. Because the Skyride Tower is off to the left right there. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize there was a giant planner like that. Um, Did it, it say it said we care about you back in the eighties? Uh, yeah, on the tower because of the whole incident with the fire. Well, no, it said it in the planner too. Okay, yeah, yeah. I didn't know they had a planner there. Look at shirt tails. Shirt tails. I don't even know what that is. That is that an IP or something that they made up? Shirt tails. Yeah, yeah that was a cartoon. Don't then their that? first looping roller coaster, the Lightning Loops, which I actually have ridden both sides. I'm jealous. Yeah, one still operates in Oklahoma. I can't remember. I think the lower one. Replaced by Batman the Ride. It was a pretty good trade, let's be honest. I'm not going to argue. <laughs> There's that miniature Marvels that was connect, uh, converted into the chip shot. And, you know, we found the tiger that they put out out front. We found all that history. There we go. We're, so we don't know about the shirt tails. That wasn't IP. That's something they came up with? or no, was it was it? a cartoon. It was a cartoon? It was a cartoon. Not a very popular one, right? Okay. Haunted the Marvel, Mar yeah, I thought it was a haunted castle. No, no, I don't marbles. think we'll see that. Yeah. Look at the galaxy there. I forget what it was called. Look what at this it? the Roaring Rapids 1983, the Free Fall. Oh, the Joust. I remember the Joust. I, I wish Joust they, I, I'm sad they got rid of that. I don't understand why they got rid of it. It didn't seem like it could have been that big of a maintenance sink, Probably right? Real estate. Yeah, 79 Rolling Thunder. If you don't know, her hand, Hernando's Hideaway was the uh, second section of the Frontier Adventure section. The Buccaneer is 1980. There's the year or the, the decade of Intamin. Look at all the people uh, lining up for the, uh, the entrance road before they expanded it properly. That was a <laughs> problem for a while. You remember that? I so remember that. The planner, we care about you. Oh yeah, yeah. Look at that. I think that's the I think that's the one off to the left that you walk by still. If you don't know, both of those big loops there, one was drop off 
and one was trans I I remember that. Yeah, that's what they're for originally. Now they just kind of look out of place with how big they are with uh, with driveways that go all the way around them. There you go. The, 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 the bobsleds. That le- uh, I don't. I don't know. Some, yeah, somebody so screwed up there. Is yeah, that, is and that, that, yeah, that lasted until last year. Uh, it ended up at Six Flags Great America for a little bit, and then it uh, was that Great Escape until just last year. Obviously Slow being replaced by the excellent looking uh, 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 Bobcat. Do you want to go try that out? This year? Okay, that maybe we'll do a day trip. I want to go down there twice, and I know you like doing day trips. So yes, yeah, Ariel, I want to make a weekend out of the uh, New England and stuff. But let's go. I don't know what the hell happened here, but the somebody... Oh, it was still it was rotated because it was turned backwards. I How did they even that. do that? Well, they did it on a Rebel Yell. I know, but the sign itself, was it was the sign actually rotated? Neat. Yeah, it was rotated because it was backwards. Oh, I, it, that it, makes sense. it just makes it look like somebody screwed up and mirrored it. There's the looping starship. I know, that's crazy that it was backwards for a year. Wow, look at this. Yeah, the Ultra Twister, so sad that never got rebuilt at Six Flags America. America would have been Yeah, because nice it went to Six Flags Astro World. Shirt Tales Land went to Looney Tunes, 1987. You ship Splash Water Falls, which I really know as Movie Town Water, Water Effect. Effect. Yeah, I didn't write it as that. Yeah, it was sad to see that one go. I feel like, I don't know, that one's sad. Like... So, is this the one of the ride rotation program rides? Condor? Yeah, yeah, definitely. You're yeah. skipping ahead here. Uh, Scream Machine, which was supposed to be 88, but they wanted to feature, they wanted to focus on family-friendly stuff um, due to the uh, terrible incident on the Haunted Castle, which Blue obviously... For the mid-80s were a bad time. A drooly box? Where is that? That, that looks like... That's the Santa shop now, isn't it? Is that the what? I think that's where Santa is. Ah, uh, maybe? The two columns in the front. No, I don't think so. I don't know. I thought I knew everything. I yeah. Everything, then you got the Great American Scream Machine. Gasm. Yeah, I missed that guy. And then 88, you had the Bugs Bunny and also the Condor, which was uh, short-lived because it was part of the ride rotation. Is that from Great America? It's at Great America now. It started oh, at St. Louis. St. Louis. Still Shockwave. going strong. Shockwave, that ended up at Astro World and then closed. In 2005, or was it six? I can't remember. Uh, six, I think it was. One of the two. Right. We did have a Bayern curve. Oh, yes. Yeah, that was by Batman. Yeah, basically where the where the stunt show arena is now is basically where the Bayern curve was. And then you had the Adventure Rivers, the precursor. Oh, they had Pac-Man for a little bit, remember that? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, Oh, look at the little bird with his little uh, dumbbell. dumbbell. That's hilarious. And then the October Fest event, which if it were two years ago, that would be a novelty to talk about in the history line. But now, it's still here. two years. Yeah, I'm so glad they brought that back. Seriously. Yeah, it's such a great event. And, yeah, uh, the uh, Adventure Rivers, which was like the precursor to Hurricane yeah, Harbor. I never knew the stunt show existed before the ride did. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. One year before. That, that's how I think people kind of knew it was coming. I don't right. know if they announced it at the same time as the stunt show, but awesome. as soon as they announced that stunt show and they saw that Great America got the Batman, you, you knew what was coming probably. Yeah. 93 is the first. They don't yeah, have, was, they don't have, they do not have the statement that the, the Coaster Spot's first year visiting is in 93. How what, dare they? Where is that? It was my first visit. Yeah, I know. We just talked about that recently. We found that out. It was just like, what? How is, how is that possible? I mean, we're just like the same age, practically, so it kind of gets, makes sense. Then the Mach 1, I missed that. That was Are such a stuff? good... That was such a good... Oh, very good. Such a good simulator. Remember when they rethemed all the whole area? They had the screen uh, where that was rethemed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That was really well when they had to move everything over. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, the they built the new Siri shop. Yeah, because they got Folks rid of the... Land? The flags. I don't remember. I guess I saw the flags for one year, but I don't remember. I don't remember that. I was probably rushing through so quickly. I don't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. And Viper. Oh, I love Viper. Type. Viper was so good, but did not cry once it got replaced. I think anybody did. No, we both loved Viper, but uh, yeah, it didn't really didn't really matter after. Uh, and then late nineties. Yeah, Skull Mountain, which we'll... Try dumping we'll, money into the park. Yeah, and the theming and stuff. Yeah. Skull Mountain, we'll go check out, see if it's open today, if it's finally got it itself. Uh, ready for the season and uh, Daredevil Dive coming on wow we're coming on we're coming on quite almost a few 30, years. 30 yeah, years yeah almost. yeah almost well, yeah wonder if they're going to keep extending their lease uh, their lease uh, uh, Cedar Fair terminated their lease one year early for Canada's Wonderland to get ready for next year 
So, a lethal weapon water oh, stunt spectacular, sure. which was once that. one of the best it was. shows I think I've ever seen. Lots of pyrotechnics. Easily the best water show I've ever seen, yeah. like ski show ever. So good. Was that, that the last show that was at the lake? Uh, they no, they had, I, I didn't get to see it because I didn't come to the park for a few years, but they had that water thing on the lake for a while with some projections and stuff. Oh, yeah, some yeah. of the infrastructure is still sitting there rotting away. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. Of course, oh, I love how, oh, my game. God, I love how they did this. That 97 is, slash 98. 98. That's so hilarious. In yeah, yeah, I'm surprised they even, I like how they're not, like, um, skewing the facts a little bit, you know? There you go. What are the, oh, look at Yosemite Sam and. The robot there. I can't oh. remember the name of the robot. I don't know the robot. It, 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 it roamed around the park. Yeah, then the year, the war on lines. The war on lines. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Such a bad idea. <laughs> well, I mean, it worked. Oh, look at this. Yeah. Open Jack Flash yeah, Revolution. Yeah. Uh, everyone said that they never were able to ride that because it was never it. open. It. But every time I came, it was open. So I rode it. Like, well, I, I probably rode it a dozen times. That and evolution. But that I got on twice because it was always it was a 45 closed. 45 minutes wait to get on it. Oh, man. It was so bad. And then I, and then I went to St. Louis and it ran pretty well. So there you go. I completely forgot. Uh, what's his name? Beach Boys? No, no, no. Uh, I don't Gilligan. Know that's Gilligan? That's Gilligan, yeah. Oh, with the, the middle... Oh, wow. That's so cool. I didn't know that. I didn't visit until the second year of the season. I visited in 2001 for the first time. And then nice Nitro, room. of course. That was the big one in 2001. She was the tallest big one. Now I think we need to rotate around or... Yes, rotating around. 2002, the drive through lights adventure. It's precursor to hauling in the park. That lasted two years. I only went the first year. Apparently added a little bit more the second year, like a, kind of a, some like games and stuff second year. Yep. Uh, once you got out of your car at the end, but never got to see that. Of course, Superman, and then the two craziest years ever in a row, probably. 05 and 06? Oh. Gotta be it, right? I mean, back to Gotta back be it. Hits. Gotta be it. $60 million spent in two years. Uh, and the previous, you know, you also had, you know, 2000 building, $30 million water park. Uh, and then the Nitro, and then it was th three years of $30 million plus of uh, additions. Yeah. yeah, no wonder they went bankrupt. They were dumping money. Then, then we have the, the bad days of Medusa with the bizarro crap. Like Dark Knight, which uh, I'm glad to say I saw all the effects working in Mexico a few years ago. Oh, really? Yeah, everything was working. It was crazy. I'm like, I, I saw effects I'd never seen here. I didn't ride it for a few years. I didn't ride it until like 2012. So I was like, it looks pretty good to me. And then I rode it to that one. I was like, what? It's crazy. Then Jumanjaro, of course, Safari, Joker. We're going to talk about that. Jumanjaro's 10 years old. I, I know. know it's crazy. Yeah. And now I see photos of it without it. It's just like, yeah, it's, it's the towers had it uh, less time now without the, the drop towers than it has. Yeah, yeah it's man. crazy. Wonder Woman, such a solid addition. Uh, they talk about 2020 very briefly. <laughs> there wasn't much going on in 2020. No, I'm surprised it said anything. And then my baby. There's my baby. Jersey Devil Good Coaster. Ball. Woo! And Medusa coming back to the name it's supposed to. The new entrance, obviously not much happened in 2022. And, uh... 2024. There you go. With the flash. Uh, we're going to be waiting for a while. Pretty while. Uh, the new store has not opened quite yet, but I, I hear that the the merchandise in there is going to be ridiculous. So, uh, yeah, we've been going at this for 15 minutes. Let's go ride something. It's time to ride. Yeah, let's go ride something. We did complain about this wall on the uh, walkway shortcut. Uh, they put the silhouette that we saw in the restaurant on the wall. Nice. Looks nice enough. Still looks a little jank, but it's better than... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You said that, that there was a rise section, yeah, I think. Left over from, uh, from Saul, yeah, yeah. I wonder if that is coming back. If that was a one-year thing. It wasn't that great. The Exorcist one was pretty good, but that one was... Uh, eh. Outdoor ones tend to be... Eh. So... I feel like most of it was kind of reused. Oh, it's, it, it had its moments. It had its moments. We have a video of that if you want to check out our full opinions on that from last year. But, uh, waiting for El Toro to open up, so I think we're going to go get some food. Yes. But best of the West. This isn't a vlog, so but we want to show you Best of the West if it's open, because I heard it opened the day after we were there. 
but no guarantees it's going to be open on a uh, Sunday on a you know uh, regular basis during the weekends or any time. Just happen. Just happy it's back. I'm so glad that so only lasted a year. I love the fact that this this breakthrough goes into the queue for Rolling Thunder. I mean, it worked to work. I loved it. Honestly, that's probably the nicest section of that. I would take the concrete over the asphalt. And I think it's funny that uh, the El Diablo. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we showed this yet, so I might as well for posterity. I do want to do a video where I just absolutely. Yeah, I want to do a video. I've been meaning to do it for a few years, but I'm kind of fed up with some stuff that could be easily taken care of. Basically, a uh, post about everything that could be easily fixed for, let's say, under 100 grand and make the whole park look so nice. You gotta wonder, do guests really notice stuff like this? Yeah, they see a derelict structure. They see that the section of Rolling Thunder has been rotting away for 10 years. Don't get rid of that. Uh, yeah, Please don't get rid of that. Yeah, get rid of that. This is a tribute. Well, then tribute it. Don't let it be uh, inundated by growth at this point. Vegetation. Rolling Thunder. It's dead, man. Let go. Yeah, I know. As reported in our last update, Best of the West did open. We were able to peek in the day before it actually opened, but they've taken half of it and turned it into a bar out of this awesome bar counter. That's awesome. And made it where you're going to order first and then receive your food somehow. I think I'll bring it out to you. And here's the outside the back deck, my favorite place to eat at Great Adventure, if not. One of my favorite places in a amusement park to eat. One cortito and great adventure for watching us. I really hope you can switch this around. Uh, have the beer tables, the bar tables, over here and the tables over here because if people are standing here, your view is going to be blocked. But if people are standing over here, people sitting down are not going to block the view. So, yeah. You got the uh, best of the West burger. Okay, I think they had that before, but that looks really good. What is no, it? Is it a patty and it's a burger, pulled pork? Pulled pork. On your ring. Oh my goodness. It's awesome. And you get a side of uh, oh, small. small, yeah. And I got the pitchfork. I think it might be a little bit different because it's a Korean barbecue sauce instead of what it was before. So I'll have to give you a try. We got it one time last year and they did something to it and it was terrible. So um, I think it was on and off the meal plan last year too. But it's back on over here. Look at that. Love it. So good. Yeah, it's a little bit different, but it still has a little bit of a kick. It's not too spicy, so it's perfect. Yeah, pork on pork is amazing. And with this back patio open, we can take a look inside of the loading station. It looks like uh, instead of repairing it over and over again, it looks like they have fully replaced the turntable, which from Ariel, who of course loves to tell everybody that she worked here and hated it, uh, that uh, that was the biggest problem of the rod usually shutting down. It locking up and airing out and all that stuff. It looks like the whole control board might be out too. So we're getting a whole new operating system and control system and all that stuff. So this thing is, uh, they're really going for broke on uh, maintaining this thing. And, and uh, as far as this, we have a different view of all the missing track. I don't think anything has been added or removed at this point. You have that weird section there. Uh, I think it was still present uh, two weeks ago. So I think right now they're just doing all their repair and then they will be uh, slotting it all in place. So it probably won't take as long as you think once they get everything ready to go uh, to put all that back in. Probably just a few days installation, but still a lot of work, especially with that turntable. And here's another entry for the things that the park looks terrible with. Overgrown light post. But yeah, there it is. Looks handy dandy. And it looks like they replaced the stairs as well. They were probably rotted out too. Safari Outpost, they have more cute stuff for kids, embroidered there by the way, kind of a, uh, what, a leopard thing, and it's got a giraffe there, and then you got, what else you got, you got a dinosaur I think, 
and then that one's got a monkey. I like the embroidering. I just want this like a uh, doll. Yeah. And then you got baby shark because why not? You got food giraffes. Food giraffes on the floor because it is windy. And they have these new uh, puzzles. Uh, they're basically the cutouts, but not branded or anything. But those are cool. I like the turtle. And here's a quick look at the Flash Vertical Velocity construction site. Mainly down by the uh, entrance area end of it. We didn't get a view of it from inside the park because it looks nearly identical from two weeks ago. So hopefully we see columns going up pretty soon. So this is the tower. There is the big boy right there. There it is. Look how big that boy is. How many different posts are 160 there? feet that tower is a support straight up of a big fat support. I didn't think it was that close to Yep, right, strictly in line with the ticket boost, as I mentioned before. <laughs> it's a big boy. How many different uh, segments are there? Uh, from estimation of what we saw already arrived, I think it's going to be three or four. But we could just look at the ride in China that's identical to it. Literally identical. Yes. Too bad they didn't go to a turntable or something, but oh well. Oh, that would be awesome. Dude, don't even joke. Over at Superman, why wouldn't you replace the most iconic character in history every once in a while so he doesn't look like he's black and white and faded? Also, your old flash pass sign, why wouldn't you spend, I don't know, 30 minutes of labor unbolting it and removing it and cutting the bolts down? Why would you and just keep this as a ugly, rusted fence pole? I don't know. But as you enter, there used to be a entrance sign. And now all it is is a can you ride, can you not ride sign with no indication for what ride it actually is for. There it is. The food stand that used to be right here, it has now been completely demolished. Most recently it was the Cluckies. There has been a fish and chips, among other things, but it is now demolished completely. Of course, this is all behind a wall right now because Green Lantern still hasn't opened for the season. But over here we have a random pole. I couldn't even tell you what this was for originally. Jeff, any insight of what this used to be for? I remember climbing walls here before. I don't know. Just random pole. Why wouldn't you cut it down? That's too easy. No, that's too hard. Yeah, too hard to spend, I don't know, 30 minutes of labor to cut it down. Today has been quite a windy day, enough to shut down Daredevil Dive and Skyscreamer Extreme Flight. And look at that uh, fountain go. I, I'm feeling the water from all the way over here. That's how crazy. There it goes. Look at that. Wow. I, did, you, did you ever get to see the fountain when it used to go about three times as high? Yes. I don't remember that. A long time ago. Long so if you don't know, back in the day, in the early 90s, up until the early 90s, uh, this that was like fountain was about twice as big, yeah. but they needed to expand the, um, the size of the plaza. Fair enough, right? Yeah. So, it's nice it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that Ferris wheel. That looks absolutely Empty. fantastic. But so, so fresh. So fresh. It's All missing right. something key. We did just do the carousel. It's looking very oh, fresh as well. Nice, yeah. Very beautiful. We'll it's give us some nice. quick shots of the finished exterior right now. As you can see, that rim has gotten a good job of all that paint. Before, when we showed you on an opening day, it was just a lot of primer. Now it's just looking absolutely fantastic. Now, originally it had kind of a golden topper to it, but I like what it has now. I, it matches well with the Yum Yum Cafe. Yeah, it, it, it was almost Arabian looking before. It was golden, similar to, similar to the drops right there, but golden. I think it looked terrible. I think what they have now looks nice. Yeah. Yeah. Looks fantastic. Although you can tell that this has been painted, and this has not been painted. Although it does look pretty good since it was painted down uh, ten years ago or so. Yeah, it went through a huge renovation about twenty years ago because the whole thing was falling apart. Yeah. I'll be honest. I don't know if this is going into this update, but today has been very busy. And uh, Jeff and I, when the park is busy, or Ariel and I. And we get to a day when it's busy, we rope drop it, and then the lines get busy, but we still want to hang out. You ride the stuff that you normally would, would not ride for any reason whatsoever. So how about 
the Buccaneer, and maybe the Barnstormer. Oh my goodness. We're not talking the about same, Walt Disney the same World. Cola barnstormer. Yeah, we're not talking about the Bacoma. That would actually probably be a good time. No, we're going to ride the although, uh, although, honestly, <laughs> would you wait an hour for a uh, roller, roller skater? Roller skater, no. No, no. No, don't do that. It's, it's so we're sad. We're going to ride the quote-unquote new ride. Oh, from... let's see if there are any turtles in the turtle pond. It's not about that. No, no turtles, but it looks pretty. Those, I love... Uh, what, fish? Back in the day? Uh, and turtles. The West Turtle? I like turtles. Well, there's a lot of them on the safari. Yeah. This is nice they kept this here. This is actually really pretty. You, you know that the wall was not nearly as high originally. No, no. no. It was about half the size. The kids are falling in. Yeah, something about drowning or something. Not drowning, dude. Yeah, that's nice a good idea know. not to... But right there was the height. This right here, this berm. Oh? That was the height of the entire thing. No, they had a little wall. It was about half the height. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was half the height. You can see where... Yeah. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go buccaneering. Buccaneering. Woo! We changed our minds really quickly. We're doing the swashbuckler, or should we do air jumbo? No, 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 hell no. It was, it was. Swashbuckler reinstalled by Bob Soller, 2007. You're my hero. I don't know. Don't Who's Bob Soller? S A U E R. Is that how you pronounce that? Soller. 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 Well, thank you, Bob. I appreciate it. Keep going. Yeah, what is this? The 1970s? Late 70s? Yeah, because this was a replacement of the Super Roundup. But it's been in like four or five years. Yeah, it's been all over the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It gets around. <laughs> the roundup gets around. All right, as far as ride availability goes, as far as the coasters go, uh, Jersey Devil was closed all today. I don't know why. I'm not sure if it's a long-term thing or whatnot. Skull Mountain still hasn't, and obviously uh, Green Lantern isn't open for the season, and Mine Train hasn't open for the season. Uh, so everything else is open. So 10 out of 14 roller coasters are available for you today on the 14th. And finally, after two years of construction, Five years of being closed, the Barnstormer has returned. returned. Quite a unique little flat ride, actually. Oh. Not many of uh, these were ever built. The only one I've ever seen was in Guatemala. What was it originally called? Barnstormer. Flight, flight school or something? Uh, Sunny's Barnstormer, I think, basically. Sure. I don't know. Can I get a hiya? I'm not getting on this job. Oh my god, no! <laughs> Alright, that was Six Flags Great Adventure here on the 14th of April. We take a quick look at the flash vertical velocity. Obviously, the uh, footers are kind of nearing completion, but not enough to do that full update, so that's why we included it here really quickly. So anyways, uh, good day. It was busy as all heck. Didn't do that much, but we had a great time. As always, here at Six Flags Great Adventure, the best Six Flags park in the area. On the East Coast. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, hopefully, we'll have some construction updates really soon. Iron Menace's uh, meeting today is going to be on Wednesday. So, rider cams, first impressions, and then we have preview days on Saturday. So we'll have videos from that as well, and a park update from all of Dorney Park. So really excited to uh, see how that turned out. Uh, so thanks for watching. Bye.